Hey guys, this is Cameron with Gone Catching Guide Service and Addicted Fishing, and I'm going to view a real quick tutorial on how to fillet a kokanee. First thing about filleting kokanee is to always make sure that you have a really good, really sharp knife, and try not to use a 9 or 11 inch blade because it gets a little cumbersome when dealing with the delicate fillets. Now since kokanee are so tiny, first thing I like to do is remove the head. I'm going to run my knife just behind the peck fin here, and I'm going to angle the knife back and down towards the head. Then when I hit the backbone, I'm going to cut through, angle it back towards the body, and remove it. This way I'm saving as much meat as I can for these small fish. Next, I'm going to put my knife right in the vent and slit it up the belly and remove the guts. Now, I'm gonna take my knife, find where the backbone is, set it just on the side of it, hold the belly cavity open with my left hand, and run the knife as close as I can along the backbone, all the way to the tail. Now, I'm gonna flip the kokanee over, Hold the belly cavity open with my left hand, find the backbone, and run it down the same way I did with the other fillet, making sure I go all the way to the tail and then past. Now if I've done that correctly, you should be able to see through where the bones and the meat are, and I didn't waste much meat. Now I'm gonna remove the rib bones, but one thing about removing the rib bones is you don't necessarily have to. If you're gonna to go to barbecue these fish, you can barbecue them just like that because after they cook for just a few minutes, you can use a fork or a knife and remove all the rib bones in one fell swoop. Take the filet, I'm gonna add the knife, I'm gonna turn it upwards, and I just do a nice little cut just to kind of start where I'm gonna run my knife down the back of these rib bones. Once I get it started with a good sharp knife, they're super quick to remove. I'm gonna repeat with the other side. Start a little cut there. Take my knife. Just feeling for those rib bones, kind of pushing up against them slowly. Just like so. Now after a quick rinse, I can put them in the bag. But one thing I'm gonna say about kokanee fillets is generally I don't fillet my kokanee until I'm gonna use them. When they're still connected to the body and the backbone, they're kind of protected because these fillets are so delicate, if they fold or they mash up, they're gonna ruin and the meat's gonna to start to segment. So keep that in mind when you go kokanee fishing. If you guys like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Addicted Fishing. For your next kokanee fishing guided trip, look up Gone Catching Guide Service. We'll see you guys on the water.